Welcome <laughs> to this episode yeah. of the Lehigh Valley with Love podcast television show. I'm one of your co-hosts, George Wacker, with our other co-host, Tyler yeah. Rothrock. George excited is, about this episode. I am excited. And I don't know if you can notice George's face is a little red because he did his ri uh, pre-show ritual. I was which, waking myself up. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. So let, let me know what you think about that. But yeah, it's been a weird week so far. Well, we talked we have, about the Phillipsburg yeah, Mall last exactly. week, and you have an update. There is an update. But I think, wait, wait. It's going to be turned into something that the town can really use. It'll be beneficial to everybody. The town isn't, the town isn't thrilled, No, believe it or not. It's uh, going to be turned into a warehouse. Wow. Great. Which it's been uh, acting as one for the last 10 years. So That's mean. Now they're just holding things in that That's they tried mean. to sell, but now they don't have to try That's to sell unfortunate. them. That's unfortunate. Um, you th I don't know. I mean, I get it. Like, yeah. if, if they're going to come in and say, hey, we'll spend money here, uh -huh. okay. But well, I think, it's like there's so many of them. At what point do we, are we just like Warehouse Valley? Yeah, I know. Uh, there's no shortage of warehouses. In do the I area. also want my Amazon like in 10 seconds? Sure. But I also don't want to have to deal with the negative repercussions of you that You think you, want, you, you would I, actually <laughs> want Amazon I wouldn't want it right in away. 10 seconds? No. no. That wouldn't Two scare you a little fine. bit. Robots take, actually, that brings us into our next news story. Good. There's, well, you, been, there's been uh, <laughs> cameras robots. and robots are pulling people, they're giving us speeding tickets. Well, I'll, let me, I'll explain. No, nah, that's what I read it no, as. No, it is, I mean, you're right. So when you drive through a construction zone, okay. the speed limit is reduced right. because you, it's very unsafe. Because you got to slow down and look and make sure Penda is. Doing, doing their doing, jobs. Doing their jobs. This, you, know? you have to slow down and look yeah, so that you, you can yeah, write on Facebook yeah. about how nobody's well, working. Well, you should be. You should slow down and tweet while you're driving. Yeah. That, no, that's don't, not. Don't no. do that. Do not do that. that drive was slowly. That was a joke. Drive slowly because, you know, obviously people can get hurt, and there have been workers who have gotten killed. So yes, yeah. it's a very, very serious thing. Please drive carefully and slowly in those areas. But they've started to ticket people by only using robots. Robot, well, cameras. Robots, robots, George. So you be careful with you be careful with all this. I want my Amazon in ten <laughs> seconds. It's true. Like, at what point do you? Well, there's going to be ro off? robot cops everywhere. But okay. when, when you get a ticket, right, from I'm, a robot, uh, mm -hmm. I don't know. I just find that some people are going to take issue with that. Because you can't talk yourself you're out of it. Well, you can't. You'd be like, listen, you I can't was reason going with a robot. For, That's been proven. Have you seen movies? few of them, but you can't. Can't reason with robots, man. Well, listen, we do have an awesome show. Uh, we have the Epiphany movie creators, we have Tim Herrickle, a musical guest. Uh, before we got to that, you know, the thing, the, this all started from a podcast. Well, yeah, and you're at in, it. In a set that is not as nice as this. <laughs> yeah. uh, and we kind of wanted to show, for people who aren't familiar with our audio podcast, what that's like a little yeah, bit. Yeah, and there's this... I don't know how this is going to go. There's a demographic either. of people that just want to see your attic. Right. So this is, we, we had an interview with <laughs> MMA um, fighter Zach Makovsky, yep. who we found out, he didn't tell us ahead of time, was uh, the first Bellator world champion. That's actually also our job to research the guests, which was, we uh, did not do. So, so we yeah. want to go and show you kind of what it's like on the Lehigh Valley with Love audio podcast, which you can listen to anywhere you listen to your podcast. Here you go. Yes, yeah, that's right. <laughs> this is yeah. going to be a fun one. This is you're our first fighter. So we've had we've had people I'm like honored. like physical fighter. We've had mental fighters. We were just talking about how you fought in Slovenia. My most recent one last month. So what was so how did you get booked for this? Um. So um, I was kind of off for over two years. I ended up, I tore my ACL and then got released from the contract I was under with which was a Russian show that I was fighting for. They released me when I got injured. Um, so as I recovered from the knee surgery, I was essentially looking for a new home. Mm -hmm. And it's pretty hard to find uh, like a prominent show that, like I've been fighting forever, so I have a fairly, I have fairly high credentials. Yeah. So to find a place that's interested, that can pay you what you think you're, you, you deserve, uh, or at least close to that, Yeah. Uh, it, it was a challenge. And uh, I ended up signing with this show called Brave. Combat Federation. It's based out of Bahrain, and they do shows all over. Like terrible. Yeah, that sounds terrible. Yeah, that sounds like a movie. Like <laughs> somebody like who would start? Like Mark Wahlberg would start. <laughs> You're Mark Wahlberg to me right now. Like, we'll sign with the Bahrain. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, what, how does it compare? How does like you know you fought in the UFC? Yeah. How did how did they compare? And we'll get to that. But how did how did your experience in Slovenia compare to like the states? 
Um, so I mean, I've, I've fought uh, in a bunch of different countries uh, for different shows. So it's really kind of the show. I can talk about the show or like the country itself. Well, I... The show Brave yeah. has been pretty amazing. Like I've only had one fight with them, but they've treated uh, the fighters like with the highest level of respect right. and like willing to do anything for mm -hmm. you. So I was very impressed with how they treated the fighters. So I'm excited to be with them. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a big growing show. They do countries all uh, shows all over the world. So what's your favorite country so far that you fought in? Uh, um, my favorite place to fight is Vegas. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like, like, just like. But uh, Slovenia was amazing. Yeah. Thought, yeah. The other countries I fought in were uh, Austria. I fought in Vienna. Uh, uh, Ljubljana, Slovenia, and Tokyo. You ever see that movie, A History of Violence? You ever see that? I have seen it, but I don't remember. Well, I think well. there's a scene in there. George watches it like every other. <laughs> that's I think a, it, there's a scene in there. That's how he goes to sleep. Vigo Morton. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's me, the guy from Lord of the Rings. Like, yeah. he fights. Um, I, this, I don't take this the wrong way. He fights his guy like in a bathroom stall, like in, no, in like a YMCA shower stall. Yeah, yeah. and that's it's like, what I do, pretty much. It, but no, it's vicious, and it's just like not. Pleasant. It's not yeah. a pleasant scene, but you're in awe, and that's what really I, that's what I picture. The violence movie does it has an unpleasant scene. No, but like some action scenes, you're like, woohoo, that's cool. Like this is one you're like, ah, that looks yeah. like it hurt for real. But so how are the crowds? Like the crowds in other countries are are they as into you like mixed martial arts as the states are? Yeah, yeah. It's uh, I think it's growing worldwide. It's like you know very popular in Asia, and it's pretty popular. The arena I fought in in Ljubljana was pretty much sold out. There were but it was a smaller arena compared to the ones you mm -hmm. see. There's probably, you know, 1,500, 2,000 people there. Yeah. But, this, this, but, but still, it's packed. It was yeah, cool. right. Uh, whereas the UFC, you're going to get 15, 20,000 people at a show. Yeah. So it's, I mean, it's like fighting in like a... Well, I feel like we skipped so much. Well, yeah, well, so that's we why I, go, I, we wanted to... I know, it's so exciting. Story, <laughs> but there is a lot of... From you getting uh, from zero years old to Slovenia, you okay. know, there's a lot of... Time. Well, you wrestled in yeah. uh, uh, Becca. Yeah. Right. And what, how, how long ago? When I graduated in 2001 from here. Okay. Oh, man, yeah. you're still fighting. That's insane. I'm trying to squeeze a couple years out before <laughs> I call it quits. And, and what, because when you were in high school, because that's about the time I was in high school, UFC, I feel like my, 04 was when, 03, 04 was when the UFC really started to like pop, right? Yeah. I think it was 2005 when the reality show, The Ultimate Fighter, like, mm -hmm. They had, uh, so the reality show was like more people would tune into that than they would normal fights. Yeah. And then the final fight of the first season was like, it's like bloody slugfest that was like crazy back and forth. Like the best fight you could want for like when the most people are tuning in. Right. And that's kind of when uh, yeah. it really took off. When did you realize that you could maybe make a career? Because that's the always thing like. Well, you walked on at Drexel, right? I, got invited. I mean, I, I got read, that, I read that from your Wikipedia. I got invited yeah. to walk on, yeah. Well, walking on just walk. always is, sounds cooler to me. Yeah. Like, um, but, you know, that's, there's, when but, you're a wrestler, because I went to Nazareth, like, a lot of my, like, real good friends were, like, state champion wrestlers. Yes, but yeah. then after college, you can't, like, make a career like you could in basketball or baseball. When did, But then UFC comes around, and, you, you know, you can. At what point did you realize that, hey, I could kind of do this? Uh, not till I was well into my fighting career right? really yeah because so uh when i started there was like i don't think anyone was really making a lot of money none of the mm -hmm. fighters were making a lot of money and my weight class didn't exist in the ufc huh. so it was just an avenue for me to continue competition after my wrestling career was well, over. Yeah, what is that did you decide i mean did you go into a career and then still continue to train and hope that there'd be something to, to do or i knew i wanted to uh compete and, and, okay. and, and fight, but I didn't think I'd be able to make a living off it. It was mm -hmm. my goal, but I didn't, there wasn't like a clear path to that right. at that time. Um, so I, I had a do, I graduated with a degree in biology and uh, was working a variety of different jobs, but was basically getting into like strength and condition, being a strength and conditioning coach. Okay. Uh, I was, yeah. the, I was right. the head strength coach at uh, Germantown Friends High School in mm -hmm. Philly. Mm -hmm. And then I was an assistant at Drexel University helping train mm -hmm. all the athletes. Mm -hmm. So it kind of fed into my fighting career because I'm just working in gyms. Right. And when I have time, <laughs> I get to work out myself yeah. and then go train in the evening. Um, so. what, in your background, obviously this area is uh, like a hotbed for wrestling. Yeah. In your travels, have, have people, have you, have people talked about that? Like, oh my God, you, you're from that area, like, and have you felt that you're, 
that this area, the wrestling background, has given you an edge in, in fighting. Well, yeah, it's certainly what I think uh, the area I'm most skilled at in the the whole uh, the whole spectrum of mm -hmm. what you can uh, do in fighting. Is, my wrestling is probably what I'm best at. Um, but I think I have, to, I have to tell people that I'm from a hotbed of wrestling because when I do when I give my wrestling credentials, they are very unimpressive to be honest. Mm -hmm. I've never qualified for states in this area. Uh, never qualified for hmm. a Division One national championships. So it was mm -hmm. close. Um, but when I would even in high school, when I would go to like camps outside of this area, I would like decimate state champions from yeah. huh. out, like Florida, and North Carolina, and well, yeah, Georgia. So... And they're like, oh my god, like <laughs> how many times have you won states? And I'm like, I never qualified. For this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This area is like so. I tell like the younger kids that I know that are, are wrestling here, and they they're like take fourth or third at like the end of the year tournament here, and they're crying. I'm like, you don't understand. Like you can be this some is the college best yeah. area in the country for like youth <clears throat> and high school wrestling. Yeah. It, the best or at least one of the very best so uh and did that so you you know you you walked into fighting with that wrestling background how hard was it to get those other skills up to the same speed as your wrestling i'm still working on it yeah <laughs> what's your favorite like what's your favorite there you go yeah, I mean, well, totally great. Great stuff. No, it, Tyler that, can't stand to watch himself. Like, we're, we're watching that. He's like, I can't. That segment was perfect for the people that thought, uh, <laughs> I want to see George and Tyler talk to a guest, but more somehow more casual than they are I wasn't wearing right pajamas now. in that one. Can we and see them on a couch by any chance? You know what? And that's it, for you. That's. But that's we want to we want to thank Zach. Yeah. Um, that episode isn't even out yet on uh, our new podcast. He, he was flying overseas to fight some... Or, Right, so we wanted to make sure Montreal that Montreal is going back yeah. to Montreal. Okay, not overseas. Yeah. Over the barrier. You could have fooled me and said overseas. <laughs> it's from Montreal. Yeah. All right. Um, I don't know how to segue this. We're going to go to our new segment. Yeah. We've been uh, going to some historical places in the Lehigh Valley yeah. and, and really getting to learn a lot more about them. So. And myself. I get to think, you know, and these are actually my thoughts this time. So here so. we are. Uh, thoughtful Thoughts by Tyler Rothrock at Bethlehem Steel. How does Netflix predict what I want to watch, but can't tell if I'm still watching? People that wish for bad karma are lazy, and they just hope the universe does their dirty work. Why do ambulances have those tiny windows in the back? Who are they for? Whenever the same commercial runs back to back, I think someone's spying on me. You know those job websites that flood our emails with job postings? 
They should also email us with updates on who they hired and how quickly they got fired. In case you needed another reminder to search our podcast every Monday, George. I love Trudeau. Tyler. Like, don't you know? Let's not like tell people to watch us. But yes, please listen. 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 Well, we have a special guest. We right sure here. do. Uh, I'm I'm excited to have mm-hmm. uh, book club president. I did my homework, so I'm happy. We're here with uh, Lincoln Parker uh, Ashby. <laughs> Angel. <laughs> Angel. Lincoln Parker Angel. Uh, I knew it was uh, something close to that, but thank it's kind you. Of show you're running here. Mm-hmm. Well, we we wanted to, the, oh, you know, Oprah has a book club. Mm-hmm. Uh, we needed one. Leah Valley. Has, I read a lot. Doesn't have so. anything, so we wanted to get you on. That's where I came in. Yeah. And and talk to you uh, because of your uh, your renowned book critic, and you assigned thank us you. a book. I did. Um, can you tell I us? Did? This is the book, Babysitter Three. I was loved a, it. Yeah, it's a really good. Um, this is the Babysitter Three. Yeah, George? not to be confused with Babysitters 1 and 2. Well, Babysitter uh, 1 and 2, while you know, I really enjoyed the arc of both of them, this one had much more of a redemption. Wait, oh, wait, wait, you read it? Wait, wait. You read the book? Well, yeah, like in chapter, um, I forget No, which no, one. you weren't supposed to read. No, the, all right, so. I don't understand. Lincoln is a book cover. He, ju- he <laughs> just judges books the Facebook by their group. Guys, I love... No, 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 with no reading. This is why I picked, Colon, I picked him. Judging a book by its cover. Right. I thought, you know, it's kind of like a play no, on words. It is, but it's also very... Uh, no, it's a it, avoiding words <laughs> kind of a club. Yeah, so you read the book. No, oh, yeah, like, I, I read the, the book. Whole, I mean, here. Go ahead. Okay, I, Babysitter 3. This, this one was a little... It was a little tough because I had not seen the tweet. covers of Babysitters 1 and 2, quite frankly. Um, what, what, when you look at this, what kind of a thing sticks out? Tyler? Okay, for me, number one, it's looking like, uh, she's the, well, I don't know if that's the babysitter or that's well, the Well, if you read the book, you would know, like, I know who that is. The I'm, cover leaves it up easy. to your They're, imagination, George. I thought, it's but then easy. you open They're the book. all very, look It's at, so easy to I get read them the book right. and know what the cover is All the time I get them right. Are you like, not creative? Look at this one, look at this one. Uh, is a Steve Martin, right? Yeah. I can tell he's a funny guy, probably films the jerk, ends up successful. Okay. okay. But let's get kind of get into your backstory. Try again. <laughs> what about this one? This well, is David Copperfield is a famous story. That's I about the magician. In... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, it's a uh, father-son story. They take, they take a trip to Vegas to watch some magic. And, uh, okay. Vegas. Well, I think we've had some somehow the, the, the beauty, The beauty of it is that, you know, it's... So you don't even have what do you, to like, read. Who pays you to do this? Pays me to do it? No, like you just. Well, that's why I kind of want to get to. How did you get your start into judging books by their cover? Well, and how did you find there's a market for people that want your opinion? First on of all, books? It, it covers. You can right. read the back if you'd like. Yes, sometimes I know. you can read. They have flaps that go on the insides of the covers. You can read them They're if you'd jackets. like, or not even read, but okay. you know, observe. How far I got into it uh, because I was at the gym. And you, you're paging through, right? And you're, you're running, your arms are going, the, the pages flip back if it's a crisp new read. And then it, the, my, the cover kept shutting. I said, you know what? I'm done with this. I'm just going to study the cover and uh, invent my story. It's a what creative about, outlet. What about like an audio And now book? I don't read or go to the gym anymore, to I be love honest. It. I love this whole not reading book. I, I, then you could... What's you, that? All right. so is covers. there any more? Like, I don't. Well, okay, how far? What's the limit into the book you will allow yourself to go a, before yeah. you catch yourself like, oh you no, I'm actually cover? I'm reading too much of this. book. Oh, I don't. I, I I go to Barnes and Noble, and actually now I don't even have to. I don't even have to buy the books. That's why these are all old. This price tag is from the '80s. And I don't know <laughs> if you've noticed, but I just go in there with my phone and I take pictures, and you go home and you have you have weeks worth of reading right there. Okay. You don't get yelled at. In the bookstore, you know, they, they say, hey, what are you, you're going to have to buy that. Well, no, I don't. I'm just looking at the cover. We got some classic ones here. Well, we asked our, our, our right? viewers I mean, to yeah. suggest some books oh. for uh, Lincoln to uh, well, judge, I guess. Uh, 
I think, to be honest with you, some of our viewers thought you read them, uh, no. which might disappoint them. I, I'll I be think, honest. Well, I, I don't uh, know, probably everybody. But so we have some books here, and just thought you read them. We have an expert. Mm -hmm. to, can you can we judge well, these covers? Well, they're from clearly someone took for, like you know picture right. on their phone. They did the they did it the right way. They <laughs> saved money. Uh, which what's first? Let's okay, try. Let's let's let's, let's, let's do it. Okay. Well, can you tell? Can you judge this cover? Hold it. Hold it up. So you, I can, you know so what? Look at the thing. I'll hold this up. Oh, there you are. That's very like you can't avoid reading this book, right? That you should uh, know all about this. My mom. My mom. It's the story of my birth, actually. It's the story, it's like a lifetime story. Uh, it shows my mom, you know, what she went through up to November 12th, 1984. Uh, it's a pretty positive story, really. So your birth was a S Signet classic. <laughs> and George Orwell. Some, some would say. The I don't even know what Signet means, which helps me out with not having to read these books. That's on you the know? back cover. That's now, why. this one, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm assuming you at least, even if you didn't read it, you have to know what hmm. this is about, right? Like, that was a popular choice. Um, there's no way that you children's book number one. <laughs> um, it's you know it's it's like a it's like a Sesame Street kind of it's a color scheme book, but it on it's just a very short. Uh, not. I was thinking they taught you how to count. Why? It's a you, it's a it's an educational it book on every, how, to, well, this how to count to fifty. Seventh shade of gray. Right. Eighth. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now you want to see that ninth one? Um, mm -hmm. Or 50, huh? <laughs> <laughs> this one, come on. This mm. is perfect. Oh, this one. This uh, is a classic. Watch you Yes, know. everyone has you seen. You catch this on TNT? Everyone has seen Michael Crichton. No, Jurassic Park. It's the sequel to Michael Clayton, I think. <laughs> Wait, that is the tag. What? That is the subtitle. It's Michael, Obviously, there's some sort of Michael skeleton Crichton. dinosaur involved here. No, it's, he wanted, he had his lifelong dream was to go to this park and uh, dig. No, I'm, I'm not, not sure if thing. I feel enlightened. Or maybe the, the writer of the book is named Jurassic Park. Oh, yeah, well, you okay. Never, yeah, I'm not judging names these days. What if Jurassic days, you never Park know. wrote the, the book Michael Crichton? Yes. It's the biggest word on there. That is the title of the book, George. I don't know if you've ever been to a bookstore. I hope that you can come back, Lincoln, and um, do some local books. Lincoln, Parker, Angel. I prefer the full. <laughs> Parker, or Angel. Ashby. Yes. Either way. Or Ashby. Yes. I, I think we should do some local books, really. I'd love I, to do some local books. How many members do you, like, we're, let's talk about your fan club, your book club. 37. 37 and counting. On Facebook group, yeah. How many of them are directly L related LPA to LPA Book Club, colon, <laughs> judging a book by its cover. Um, most of the comments, the people seem to think the story is bashing me somehow or another. They just describe all the, all the plot lines pretty much just make fun of me and everything. But I think, you know, there's just respect for the... Listen, I, I really, I'm looking forward to the day that you, you right. have your old book. But what, mm -hmm. what, what, what do you think... Be, like, I, might it, write, I might write a cover someday. <laughs> You know what? what? I, I, we're done. I'm no, no, I have, another, we're that's fine I have another you question. You have one more question? I want to. We're talking. We're talking to our viewers. Wh why would people need to uh, judge back. a cover instead of actually reading the book? Well, despite what you grow up learning, sometimes it's a more creative outlet. Number one. That's what I'm saying. Number two, as I've shown, you're usually right. So. Your grade school lessons are wrong. I'm yeah. sorry. Go and ahead. also, uh, words are hard. Yeah. I've found words are hard. Mm -hmm. George, they are. They, okay, they can't so, be. Yeah, like it took me, you know, a good 30 seconds to know what Jurassic was. Right. So. Well, we're gonna, we'd love to have you back, Lincoln. I, thanks, one of us would. Thank you. Uh, George is going to warm up to you, I promise. But okay. thank you for coming. And, uh. I don't know if there's, you can read the signs on the, actually, just, I don't, I guess don't read them, but just, if yeah. you go out that way, you'll, you'll find the way to the parking lot. Okay, there's like arrows and stuff? Yeah, All there's right, arrows, right. so that would be good. Okay. Oh, so now I, yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, you're, yeah, get on out of here. Okay. See ya. Take just, your stuff, take, take your stuff. I signed them if you want take, to keep, yeah, oh, no. okay. They're actually you checked out from the them. library. You know what, I'll just, right, I'll take right. them for you. Uh -oh. Yeah, I'll fall. Just get out. <laughs> oh, okay. Figure your way out. Thank you. Thanks, man. Tyler, why don't you throw to the weather? Know. All right. Uh.
here I am all by myself. Uh, but we're excited to talk to Tony from the Lehigh Valley Weather Authority. He has words that mean stuff, uh, unlike our last guest. Take it away, Tony. Thanks, guys. Hey, everyone. Tony here from Lehigh Valley Weather Authority, coming at you live from LVWA headquarters in Palmerton, PA. For your Friday night, we're expecting cloudy skies, a low temperature down to 29. Do be on the lookout and be cautious for some possible black ice areas as temperatures do dip down below freezing, a low tonight of 29. Saturday, chilly, high of 44 under sunny skies. Saturday night's low down to 26. Sunday, we start to see the temperatures climb, high temperature of 56 degrees under sunny skies. So that'll be your day to really get out there and enjoy this uh, first beautiful weekend of meteorological spring. Sunday night's low down to 36. On Monday, sunny skies, 63 degrees. For this Monday night low down to 46. On Tuesday, high temp of 60, sunny skies, and a nighttime low of 34. Wednesday, we see the clouds move in, some potential showers, high temperatures up in the mid 50s, nighttime lows back down below freezing to about 30. Now we are watching uh, Thursday for a potential storm system. You, you're probably hearing about this already, but there is the window for some snow out there. But uh, this time of year, the models get pretty wonky and really can't be trusted outside of a few days. But you know the media is talking about it, so here I am telling you, keep it in the back of your mind that there could be a threat Thursday. You know, I was looking at some of the temperatures, and Thursday looked like mid 30s for high temperatures so that could be a pretty drastic drop from you know near 60 down into the 30s with potential snow so hang loose with that keep that in the back of your mind and this saturday night don't forget to turn your clocks ahead one hour as we spring ahead here in 2020 that is all i have for you guys have a wonderful wonderful weekend enjoy the warm weather on sunday and monday and we'll talk to you next week Back over to you guys. Oh, Tony, I, we need, if you could tell, Tony is um, doing it remotely. Yeah. He, uh, I want to get a green scheme so we can put some stuff behind him. I know yeah. he has it. Yeah. But we can just give him videos, like, driving along. Or something. I, I'm just so. still reeling over the uh, daylight savings time. Because we lose It doesn't seem like we're saving much. We're not. Um, I don't have any time in my bank account of all these years. You know, South Carolina just did away with it. We could. Smart. Yeah, I think I would too. Uh, like, why not? Like, why do we even have it? It just annoys everybody. I guess so. I agree. I'm gonna mm -hmm. read up on it. <laughs> we uh, we that's have one little, of our favorite one of our the, favorite segments. If now. you're still watching, you get it. <laughs> one of our favorite segments now is with our intern Allison. Um, she's going to places throughout the Lehigh Valley and doing things that old guys like us don't know about or can't do. Um, so we're gonna <laughs> kick it to intern time with Allison. Hey everyone, welcome to this week's episode of Intern Time. Today, I'm here at the Lehigh Valley Mall to visit VR Cafe. Let's head inside and see what it's all about. I am here with Mike, uh, who works here at VR Cafe. So Mike, can you tell me a little bit about this place? Of course I can. So essentially we are in like a modern day arcade. Uh, we have virtual reality booths set up with about 45 different games that you can play in them. Uh, we have couch co-op consoles and Xboxes available as well. Uh, we also have a coffee bar at the front of our uh, store. What kind of games do you offer here? Uh, so we, like I said, we have 45 different games uh, that we offer here in the virtual reality. Um, what's great about our library is that it ranges for all ages. So we have games simply where you can go around the world in Google Earth, or you can fight zombies in the Brookhaven Experiment or Arizona Sunshine. Uh, we also have like Fruit Ninja and Beat Saber and Super Hot, other games that are really popular on YouTube and stuff like that. Awesome. Now, which one is your favorite out of the games you um, guys? My favorite game is actually our newest game. It's called Pistol Whip. Um, and it is basically like Beat Saber, but you get guns. You get to shoot bad guys to the beat of music, and it sounds very, very fun. Uh, and it is very fun when you're in it as well. That's awesome. Now, where can people find out more information on VR Cafe? Uh, so we have a bunch of different social media networks. It's uh, and our website right down here, www.vrcafepa.com. Um, and they can also go on Facebook and look up uh, VR Cafe PA. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for talking with me today. Yeah, wonderful. Nice to meet you nice as well. Nice to meet you.
<laughs> How was it, Julia? It was really fun. <laughs> so I played Beat Saber. I think I played Fruit Ninja. And I played this one called like Chef's, Chef's Table. It was really fun. <laughs> I really like Beat Saber, but then I put it on normal mode instead of easy mode, and it got it got harder. When you're in like the VR, it's totally immersive, and it's just really fun. <laughs> I played uh, Beat Saber, and then I played, uh, it's the something plank game, R Richie's plank game. Yes, Rich oh, Richie's plank experience. <laughs> um, and then I played Super Hot. Super Hot was so much fun. It was like a weird, like first person shooter, and it was a lot of fun. Uh, I was really nervous going into it, because it was my first time, that like it was going to be really disorienting, and honestly, I was afraid I was just going to puke. Um, but like, <laughs> it went like really well. It was like such a smooth transition. Like I felt fine in it, except for when I was playing the plank game. But that's just because I was like a couple stories up and I felt like I was gonna fall. <laughs> All right, so that was so much fun. If you haven't already, I highly suggest coming out to VR Cafe here at the Lehigh Valley Mall or over at the Palmer Park Mall to check it out for yourself. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this week of intern time. Back to you in the studio. Tyler, are you going to ever that do VR? Me out. <laughs> we were talking about robot cops. That like puts me right into the world of like, I don't know how like you don't bump into stuff. You're it's not you do like you're in, you're in the real world, easy. but also this virtual world freaks me out, man. I'm not ready for it. Thank you, Allison. That was awesome. We can't see. Uh, we can't wait to see what you come you up with next it. time. I can virtually see it. and in real life. Uh, we want to shift gears to head over to Easton. We we talked about Bloody Marys last week, and we're going to talk about them again because I feel like it's Bloody Mary season. If that makes sense, it's no, either October no, no, it or this time of spring. I, I think just, I think Bloody Marys are a. Or a 12 all, months all, 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 all year round. I'm not going to disagree with you. It's like all terrain tires. You can just be, you know, you can be enjoying them all year round. I don't know if around. anyone in the world has ever compared Bloody Marys to all terrain tires, and I'm going to go with it. Watch this video from our friends at Porter's Pub in Easton. So, have you ever been to Porter's Pub for brunch before? No, I haven't. Oh my God, you have to try this. Okay. You have to close your eyes though. Okay. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Hey. What? Okay, your turn. You try. All right, do it with me. Close your eyes. Ready? Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Oh my God! It worked. Cheers. Cheers. Whiskey. 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 You have a mug there? No. If you walk in there, there's mugs on the ceiling because if you go through their beer list, you can get one. I met a guy who had 14 of them. 
which is impressive. What was his? What were his stories like? They're long, and yeah. and you would want incoherent. To hear some of them. And uh, no, no, he's very. It's you know, he, he took a lot of time. They're not getting them in one day. Right. You know, right. I like the Bloody Marys that have like the uh, the seafood on the top. I saw one with a fried chicken, like a whole fried chicken uh, yeah, in Nashville. This it's just I get it. Yeah. I I like the ones with like the the meat straws <laughs> that you can instead of a straw, it's it's, it's like a hollowed out. Piece of beef jerky. You save straws, right? Save and then the you get to eat it. And then you eat it. It's the best of every world. You eat the straw prior to finishing the drink, or? Well, no. You got to finish the drink with the straw. I got to feel like you... suction wise, getting the last bit of the bloody. I don't Mary think is... by the end, the time that you're done with it, it doesn't really matter. Okay. So. All right. Um, again, no way to properly segue this one. We <laughs> want to always give our our nonprofits um, a, a chance on the show every week. And we're going back to our friends at Cancer Support Community, Greater Lehigh Valley, because they have a very important dragon race coming up. I did it uh, the last couple of years. It's a lot of fun. So take a look about how you can get involved. George, you got top two in that race. <laughs> no, I did not. You didn't, you didn't finish in the top two of I the, did not, not the two-boat race? No, there were a lot, there were a oh, lot of a boats. Lot of, yeah. It's heats. You go against each other. I got you. We won, I did win one heat, and then we didn't win. I want to say thanks to our friends at Countess Communications. Sure. They put that video together and make sure that you, you sign up. It's fun, and it does get, with, like, with anything like that, it gets competitive. Yeah. I mean, it's more of a fun competitive, but it, you're still into it. It's really yeah. intense. Yeah, cool. All right, well, we got a couple uh, friends and sponsors of the show, so check out what they have to say. Check them out. Check them out. I'm Cheryl Smith with Equity Mid-Atlantic Real Estate, and I invite you to take a tour with me to find out why the Lehigh Valley is the perfect place to buy a home, raise a family, or to slow down and enjoy your golden years. Located in eastern Pennsylvania and bordering New Jersey, most areas in the valley are within 90 minutes of New York City, Philadelphia, the Jersey Shore, and the Pocono Mountains. Our cities, suburbs, and rural landscapes offer something for everyone, with diverse, walkable neighborhoods filled with impressive restaurants, shops, museums, and theaters, to cozy, idyllic suburbs with great schools, to countryside and mountains where clean air and adventure await. With a median home price under $250,000, the Lehigh Valley is so affordable and taxes are lower than most neighboring areas too. Outstanding colleges and universities and a thriving economy and job market offer plenty of opportunity to learn and grow. Short distances to New York, New Jersey, and Philadelphia can allow you to keep your job in the city while enjoying a quality of life at home that can't be beat. Whether your dream is a condo or a brownstone in a trendy downtown neighborhood, a roomy colonial in a tidy subdivision, a farmhouse with lots of land or a cabin in the woods, you can find it in the Lehigh Valley. Call me today and let me welcome you to the neighborhood. You can't give up. That was the worst 
that I could have landed on. <laughs> but, uh, you know. No, it's good. Tyler, don't worry about it. Just gotta drop it and let it go. No, I'm, I am. I've, I've already forgotten about it. We're excited to have on our guests the creators of the, uh, the movie Epiphany, yep. um, Kula and Katina. That's right. I'm not gonna say your last names. That's okay. Uh, you obviously are very much a part of the Greek community here. Yes. And That's we're right. excited to uh, talk a little bit more about how you that how that affected your movie, mm -hmm. everything like that. So yep. welcome to the show. Thank you. Yep. Thank you, you. You have worked on many movies before. Well, yeah. I mean, I worked I, in the New York film industry. Uh -huh. I did like a decade, like ten years, my twenties to my thirties. Like right, what? Like what were you doing? Um, so I worked in the production office. You know, like when those big movies come to New York, they create an office. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, and I was, I kind of ran production coordinator is what the job okay. was called. Um, like my biggest one was like School of Rock, which oh. was always fun. I know a guy. <laughs> you know the guy, the, the, the DJ is from here. Oh, oh really? Really? first line. He was yeah. the guy who announced oh. the winners at the end. Oh, Because they wow. shot around here a little. Yeah. Or I don't know exactly how that worked, but yeah. Oh. So there were a couple of people from the Lehigh Valley who were yeah. in that movie. Oh, yeah. I did not no, know that. I didn't know you did yeah. not know no, that. No, I didn't. That's <laughs> weird. Uh -huh. well, it's small weird. No. It's, it's <laughs> my... Ha Kind of how we Small got world. here. The smaller world, yeah. Smaller yeah. world. I I did this contest where I it was around Christmas where I was if you gave me an address of a family member or an enemy, I would send my comedy album to that person <laughs> with a <laughs> random note, right? Yeah. So I was at the post office sending. Uh, there was yes. only eight people that <laughs> did it. Oh my god! Yeah. Only eight people signed up, and uh, I'm I, I'm overhearing somebody down like the uh, desk saying that. She had to, you, it was you, yeah. she had to get her DVD somewhere, yeah. and I'm like, it was right around the time I saw the newspaper article come yes. out, I'm like, I yeah. bet you that's, yeah. We, yeah. and we then had, I like, asked you, right? Yes, I, you I, did, you stopped me. In a stalkerish way. <laughs> I was, I've never been nervous, so <laughs> as nervous. I'm like, she's going to think I'm a weirdo. She's going to think I'm weird, and I went up and I, said, hey, do you have a movie? <laughs> Uh, I saw you on the news. I know. I yeah, was like, then, oh my god. And then she told told me about it, and then yeah. she said something I, about meeting you yeah. somewhere uh, and on she some street. About it from a street. And I order. was yeah. like, I'm sorry, yeah. I don't really want to know. I don't yeah. know who this well, person is. Well, I have is. to say, I, 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 that was the first time I, I kind of felt famous. I okay, like, good. Somebody just <laughs> recognized <laughs> me in the post office. I feel like I feel famous and violent yeah. at the same time. My yeah. Yeah. Well, I yeah. I've become but famous and got a stalker in this I love it. But it's crazy how that works. Works. And, yeah. and it also kind of goes to the whole idea about you know community, and you yes. guys talk about yeah. that a lot. Yeah. And be before we talk about what you're doing now and yeah. in the future, can you talk a little bit about how you guys got into this at all? Like wh yeah. why? You, I mean, you're both in the film industry. Yes. What? Well, we were. I mean, yeah. It, it, Explain. Yeah. yeah okay. You tell. And your okay. sisters. Yes. Uh, we, we, are, so we, are, are, we are sisters. So we did a short film 18 years ago long time ago, <laughs> um, called Lynn's Wake that was here in the Lehigh Valley. We did it in the Lehigh Valley and mm -hmm. shot it. We shot it together, yeah. um, directed it together, brought a crew from New York. And yeah. we were, you know, saying to everyone, okay, we're going to be doing our feature in like two, two years. Yeah. You know, it, the features, it's all coming. Everybody's yeah. going to yeah. come running to do this, <laughs> this feature uh, called Epiphany. Yeah. And um, here we are. Years later. Years later. <laughs> and we did it. Yes. It's just um, hard. I mean, you know, we, we were life both... Life gets in the way, right? They do. And yep. it does. And we were both, like, film buffs as kids. Like, we watched, like, kind of... movies. Odd yep. movies, too. Like, like other what? people were... Yeah, give us, like, like, watched, like, Picnic at Hanging Rock. So, it was Peter, Peter Weir. Weer movies. So, we're, we're That's big Dead Peter Poet Weer. Society. Yeah. Um, okay. My idol. The Last Wave. Yeah, The Last so Wave with Richard we, Chamberlain. Yep, yep. Look it up. So, it's we're so big Peter Weir fans. Yeah, yeah. So, we had been watching those movies. real film. Yeah. yeah. Not like like with Tyler, what did you grow up on? Uh, Transformers. Like no, Daddy Daddy's 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 right. We're big liar, on like liar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> top, top three. But yeah. we um so we were both very interested in movies. So when I gradu I graduated from Lehigh, I took a screenwriting class there, and that's when we I started the concept of of this Tarpon Springs, which is a Greek area, and you know it's it's like this very cool place in Florida that has. Yeah. You know, it look, it's like a Greek island, kind of. And, like, you can find, like, a little lady there that doesn't speak English. Yeah. It's yeah. very is that strange. You, it's what I read, that you guys have spent your youth there. Yes. Yeah. Right? We, every we, summer. Every yeah. summer. Yeah. We, we, we vacationed there. Yeah. Like, our, yeah. we had family there, sure. so we would go down there every year. And, you know, I think Katina and I both wanted to, you know, show our Greek culture. Like, our Greek heritage is very important to us. Yeah. So we kind of thought to do that through this film. You know, it's like we... 
it's a whole story about a very broken family, but in the background is it's all about Greeks. There and yeah. there, Leah Valley does have a pretty uh, big. big Greek they yeah. community. They do. Yeah, they do. Do you have that? We talked a little bit in the green room before. You have some aspirations of uh, making a, a, a movie. Right here. here right? Yeah, that's right. And is that yeah. something, in, including your Greek uh, heritage, too? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I mean, something that we were interested in, Tarpon Springs is so cultural uh -huh. and, mm -hmm. um, you know, but we were uh, upset. You know, we ha did, you know, we had to do this movie about sponge divers. It could only take place in Florida on uh -huh. the water, can't yeah. take place here. Yeah. But, you know, I coming mean, back to Lilia Valley, we were like, there's so much here. There's yeah. so much history. Yeah. There's, there's the Bethlehem Steel. And that's, you know, it's a, a concept about a second film taking place here and surrounding. There's so many. Bethlehem. I mean, I know it's silly. We watched our thoughtful thoughts thing, and it's it's silly. But as you're even in that Bethlehem Steel yeah. area, and you're going, you're like, this is. I mean, you can see why they filmed Transformers too. There, yeah. it's just you feel like you're on a movie set, and there are yeah, yeah. many other yeah. places, not just in Bethlehem, but. Like you look at downtown Easton, like yeah. that's what you it's picture cool. a small city yeah. to look like. Yeah. So it's really, yeah. I, I could, I can understand why more filmmakers are interested in the area. Yeah. Right. And we did a lot for Tarpon Springs, we feel like. Like we put them on camera. We I showed never heard of it. Every <laughs> aspect, right, every aspect of the place and, you know, maybe helping with tourism down there. Who knows? Yeah. I mean, right, why right. don't we do that for our own town? Yeah. yeah. I, I think there was, a, somebody wrote an article a couple months ago about the, the Lehigh Valley being hoping the Leah Valley becomes a hotbed for filmmakers yes. to come. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you guys, as filmmakers in the Leah Valley, what resources do you guys find that you, you use, and what do you, how do you see the, the um, filmmaking community grow in the Leah yeah. Valley? So Dan Roebuck's a, a good friend of mine. Mm -hmm. He's a fantastic guy. I was an associate producer on Getting Grace, okay. so I feel that, you know, Dan set the, the paved path. Paved the way. Paved the way yeah. for that, yeah. and, you know, those resources are are available. I mean, Dan has been, he helped with our first film down there because Tammy, his wife, is from Tampa. So, you know, having someone like that. And we are part of an organization called FIFO. So, and that has helped filmmakers kind of find and all I, they need. I'm obsessed with the technology of filmmaking. Yeah. I mean, I think a lot of what, Made, like we make it hard in the in the forties, you know, to make a movie is impossible. But now yeah. you can make one on your phone. Yes, you can. It, you yep. know, if you know proper techniques yep. and that sort of thing. So do you do you find that maybe because of technology, it, it's making it easier for filmmakers to film in places like the Lehigh Valley? Or? Absolutely, oh, yeah. absolutely. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, you definitely want to make sure. You know, like for us, we wanted to make sure that we had, um, you know, we had our our producer who was from Los Angeles has she specializes in little movies and she was like the sound is everything so we did bring a lot of people in from Los Angeles just to make sure but I think it's all you know but that's where they that's, you know they're not that's working Hollywood, right, right? Yeah. that's where Hollywood that's is. Exactly. Yeah, that's a big spot <laughs> That's a, that's, a main, exactly. that's a main spot for yeah. movies I, just, I believe they filmed I, a few I, yeah. I think the more <laughs> movies filmed here you know, it's like people will invest in equipment. Right. People will do, you know, that's basically it's just, it's, what it's all it's, about. You gotta, it's, I mean, thankfully, Dan Roebuck. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm sure people who, if, if they're listening and they don't, or they're watching and they don't know, um, you know, from Bethlehem Catholic has been in uh, The Fugitive, Fugitive uh, Moss, Lost. Lost. I mean, met countless movies. Look, but River's for, Edge. We always yeah, say it was amazing. Was amazing. Yeah. And then yeah. shot Getting <laughs> Grace right, here. You know, yeah. Getting Grace yeah. was shot yeah. here. Yeah, if you watch here. it, that's, yeah. and you can find that on Amazon Prime, I believe, at least yeah, right he's, now. And he's doing his movie this summer. Right, and, and yeah. just the fact that he had said, sometimes it does take the first person to do it and yeah. say, hey, you see, it's, yeah. it's good. It's doable. And let's, everyone else yeah. can come along, too. So exactly. Yeah, exactly. Thanks for him. So I have, a, I have a question for you guys, your sisters, and I have a brother, and, uh, you know, <laughs> we've never, uh, we get along, but yeah. we don't, we've never made a movie together. Yeah. yeah. How, how has the dynamic changed yeah. from siblings to coworkers to, right. like, do you guys get in any little arguments right. here? Well, I, I think <laughs> it was very interesting because um, 
I wouldn't say that we, I mean, we're, it's just the two of us. Like, we don't have any siblings. And growing up, like, we were not that close. Like, no, I was always, we I remember, like, banging on her door. Very yeah, RT. And she's you were reading the cool books. One? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you were the popular one. <laughs> I no. just sat. You were the cool one. I, I, read, I read the one. I read she book was covers, the one so. that was in, yeah, she was always she reading. Work. Yeah. Like, yeah, she didn't want yeah, anything to do with me. She thought I was very empty, but that's okay. <laughs> we got past that. Um, but anyway, so, you know, as we were going along, we realized, you know, we didn't have a lot in common, when, but we had movies. We always liked the same yeah, movies. Always it's the very same strange. Movies. Yeah. Like, as different as we are, it's uh -huh. like we can both appreciate a very good film. Like, you know, some of our, like, The Ice Storm, right. um, and Sweet Hereafter. Sweet Hereafter. Yeah. They're, like, she very liked obscure. very deep, deep movies. movies. So yeah. I and then we would kind of thinker. talk about <laughs> it. And then we dissect what it. Are, and, we'll yeah. talk about, what are some of your, your favorite guilty pleasure movies? that maybe you don't want people to know oh. that you enjoy. Oh, I have one. Oh, yeah. what, what? Just Friends. Oh, me too! Really? I love it! Yeah. Love it. Yes, love it. Yeah, love it. Tommy so Boy. Good. Tommy Boy. Tommy Boy is up there. Yes. <laughs> that's, that's yeah. Well, it's like there's movies, and I don't, I mean, Mean Girls at this point is almost, yeah. you can't, you're, it's, not even, okay. it's not even cool. I live in Mean Girls. I don't need to see it. <laughs> well, that was yeah. that one. Oh, no. It's a little bit. Our uh, girls are watching that now, uh -huh. too. So. Yeah. It's like, my that's wife, my wife makes fun of me because I really like the Jack Reacher movies, too, with Tom Cruise. Oh, right. Because they're not, what? They're, uh, they're not good movies, but I really enjoy them. Yeah. And, you know, he yeah. got kicked off yeah. that because the author said he's too small, so they won't bring Tom Cruise back. So even if you're Tom Cruise, yeah. Yeah. You, you can get still, fired. You can get fired or oh, someone can make wow. fun of yeah. you still. I don't know if you guys can get fired because of the no, you, you guys are it. sisters. Right. You wouldn't fire each other. No. Uh, no. no. I don't know. <laughs> oh my God, she was about to say she would Cold fire me. Cold blooded. Cold blooded. <laughs> no, it was actually a very yeah. good experience for us as siblings. We, we learned a lot about each other. Yeah. One thing we said was that we will not argue or disagree in front of the crew because right, right. once they see us disagreeing, it's sure. like the credibility is shot. So yeah. it was always, you know, I we try to read each other's minds, <laughs> but it was good. So let's talk a little bit about the movie that you're, you're looking, What I don't know how much you can say, yeah. but, about the upcoming project you say you're filming in Bethlehem. Right. What, what can well, you say Well, right that? now we're in the script stage. Okay. So right. let's be clear about that. We, right. We're still, we got the whole, we've got have some to have time. a good but, script. But, then, <laughs> yeah. but it's a goal then. To, yes, to really absolutely. So, you know, we do have to raise money for that. And everyone knows how sure. diffi it's yeah. difficult. So, um, but we, we, we think we can do it. We really do. And yeah. do you want to tell them what it's about? <laughs> um, it's, it's about it, It's about the this comedian guy. <laughs> Who lives in Nazareth? <laughs> yeah, Perfect. and he really likes tomato pie. <laughs> I think I could play this character. There, I yeah, well. it's you. There you would be go. in it. Yeah, I'll be in it. I can do it. We you have a title. We have a title. Yeah. Searching for Artemis. Okay, it's about a girl. I, I could play like Artemis's third cousin <laughs> who yeah. shows yeah. up one time yeah. and he leaves. We need Greeks. They're Greek. They're Ooh, I know American a lot of family. Greeks. It, the one thing about living in the Lehigh Valley that, I, in all seriousness, I find fantastic is there's so many different cultures. When I see the sign for the um, the Orthodox the Greek, uh, yeah. what do I say? The, the Greek food festival. The yes. food festival. Yes. You know, like everyone are. rejoices, and yeah. it's just fun that you know, like you're welcome, even if you're maybe not a part of that right. church or whatever. Mm -hmm. It's so much yeah. fun to to experience the cultures like that. Oh, and you like food. gyros? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I try to, like, gyros, I feel like, is the entry level. Like, yes, I go in there, is. I'm like, what's, what yes. is the real stuff? Yeah. I, I probably eat my uh, body weight in gyros at Music Fest. Yeah. I think I do. I eat one every day, at least one. Maybe for lunch, probably I get a breakfast gyro. You know, there. it's a gyro. That's what you're supposed to say. I don't think I, no, I can gyro. say gyro. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Gyro. You, you look funny when you say it. I know. You look funny all the time. <laughs> can't, really, can't really say that. Say much to that. Yeah. See, we... You guys say uh, you didn't want to argue. You never want to show people arguing on set. We only argue in front of other people. <laughs> in front of yeah, like back when we're alone, we don't yeah, argue just, at all. It's very common. So we um, we want to wish you guys the best of luck for the yep. current movie, though. I mean, yes. it, it just came out. Yeah. Where can people? Yes. I know on Amazon yes. you can get it. Oh, and we Where have a screening, else? and we have a screening. Oh, yeah, on, yes, on March 29th at seven o'clock. Yep. So, um, March 29th, 7 p.m. Yes. Do need, people need to get tickets ahead of time? Well, we, I would, yeah. we did sell out the okay. last time we were yeah. there. So, so they should go to steelstacks.org. Yes, yep. and and yep. it's tickets. under special screenings. Um, but we're on Google Play, iTunes, YouTube. Uh, yeah. Amazon. Amazon. Yeah. We're on YouTube. You just you don't have to pay to watch. <laughs> <laughs> it's free. <laughs> but that's going to be exciting, too. It's like very, Just like the, the yeah. new... 
Like you talk about mailing DVDs and all that, yeah. and, and just that it's on demand now is really awesome. Yes. Speaking of that, we're yeah. gonna we're gonna show the trailer. Yeah, let's check and out. The we want to thank you guys you so up, much. Just Thank set up you. The trailer or anything? Yeah, you want to set it up? Uh, no, it's fine. Okay. It's I self-explanatory. It's it. self-explanatory. <laughs> Watch the trailer, see the movie. <laughs> yeah. um, March yes. 29th. Yes. Yep. Thank, thank you guys so much for coming on. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Roll it. The old men of Tarpon Springs say the boy who gets the cross at the Epiphany Ceremony is forever changed. Ultimately, unity will come to that family. My father tried several times to get the cross as a boy. He tried for that unity, but it never came to him. To us. I've got nothing to be proud of. Nothing to show for all these years. Could have had more if you weren't carrying someone else. We remortgaged your house in 2012, right? I want to dive at the Epiphany. You know it's just for boys. She wants you. I can't be you. I'm not her father. We can all change. Talk to him. They don't know me at all. They are trying. I just don't want to be anything. And unto the ages of ages, amen. <laughs> you chose him. You have two sons, not one. One? No, no, you've always had two. Leave her alone. She's my kid. I got a right to ask her if I want to. Oh, right. You think you're going to be a father now, huh? I'm the one that raised her. I love you. Then why did you give me to Peter? Better life for you. Away from you? I couldn't give you what you needed. The old men of Tarpon Springs say the boy who gets the cross at the Epiphany ceremony is forever changed. Unity will come to that family. Unity will come. Throughout your life, you've worked hard to save money and build wealth while at the same time providing for your family. You've built a comfortable life full of shared memories and experiences. Working with Walter Investment Partners of Janie Montgomery Scott will help you create a financial blueprint designed to address your needs for planning, protecting, and preserving assets for you and your future generations. The sooner you begin, the sooner you can be at ease knowing that your financial plan will be at work for you and your family. Contact us today. We look forward to working with you. Lincoln uh, yeah, gave me yeah, his, uh, yeah. as he was heading out the door. He gave you exchange his. it for a book. Yes, one, one book cover. So good. Peace offering. So we're here with our musical guest, Tim Herrickle. Is that your name right? You Thanks got, for coming you on. Ah, Appreciate it. Thanks for it. having me. Yeah. yeah. So tell us a little bit about yourself. How did you get started? Um, well. Where are you from? You said you weren't going to go deep on him. I know. I, okay, well, where are you from, he, first he, of all? He, let's, we'll go light. backstory, come on. Put him right. on the spot. Tell him whatever you want to tell him. Okay. Whatever else. Don't listen to Tyler. It's just whatever. Okay. So where are you from? Whitehall. There we go. Okay. Whitehall, Pennsylvania. Yep. And who are some of like what is some of the music that you're into that you got you into music? Um. Believe it or not, I started off with, with like metal. <laughs> I love that. Just yeah. heavy metal. Until I was probably like I don't know, 16 or so, and then started playing the singer songwriter stuff. Did oh, you? Like, and you've been playing in the valley for a long oh, time. Yeah. yeah, probably almost. 10 years now? I met him in Wings and Strings in uh, Hellertown oh, last great. summer. Yeah. So. All right. You got a couple songs you're going to play for us? And yes. Then, uh, All right. uh, we'll be back. Right, we'll let, we'll let you get you to off. it. Awesome. See the audience. <laughs> All right. This first one is an original song called Tie Me Down. I won't, I won't, I won't 
be ashamed I take this lesson and I frame it So tie me down in the way of your locomotive and I'm too tired to fight this comfort I found and the tracks start to rattle It's the end of a battle tonight You don't, you don't, you don't feel the same Once again you'll claim the fame is you won't you won't, you won't be ashamed. Cause from the ground up, you think you're blameless. Now tie me down in the way of your locomotive. And I'm too tired to fight this comfort I found. When the tracks start to rattle, it's the end of a battle tonight. You think I didn't know You were learning your knots, girl Gathering your rope But now Before you go You lay me down Below What is heavy Coming fast You can have What I wore in the past Just take from me, this conductor's hat. I can see it lag. I can see it lag. this early. I'd still be sleeping. All right, so I got one more for you. Um, wrote this one back in college, it's called Man and the Moon. Stargazing opportunities for me, they seem so far. But so tell me, man of the moon, will you visit soon? And would it do any good to pack bags if you should come on down to your town? Glowing light, shining ground, take me back to the place. Where troubles float away yeah. So Mr. 
the vista can you show me if there's a way because this thought has been leaning on me for 12 hours and half the day i say what a sight it must be to see the world smaller than your dreams smile over everything that knows the gesture and what it means so tell me man of the moon will you visit soon and would it do any good to pack bags well, if you should come on down from your town glowing light shining brown take me back to the place where troubles flow We can dine on cheese and wine If you don't mind, be so kind to share your supply My attention drifts I discover weightlessness So good day, man of the moon I'll be speaking to you soon Let it be understood That I'll be waiting If you should Come on down Your town Glowing light Shining brown Troubles float away. So good day, yeah. Man of the moon. So good day, yeah. I'll be speaking to you soon. So good day, man of the moon. So good day, good day. I'll be speaking to you soon. Tim Herrickle. Yay! Thanks, what was it, man? The, the, both songs. <laughs> Sweaty it, it, palms. It was all good. Uh, man on the Moon and uh, what was the other one? Tie Me Down. Tie Me Down. Do you have any, uh, yeah. where can people find out more about you? TimHerrickle.com. Okay. So, you, do you have any things you're doing coming up recently? Or, I mean, or do you have any up. upcoming ones? Sorry, I don't know what and I'm shows? doing. Here. Yes. Yeah. Shows. <laughs> no, actually, I play tonight at Hop Daddy, Friday at Union and Finch, and uh, Saturday at Saturday. The Red Stag. The Red Stag. Oh, right. Okay, that works out. Yeah. So yeah, so timherricklemusic.com. Yep. Um, check them out. Thank you so much for coming on. And we want to say a big thank you to the Lesson Center uh, who's for sponsoring our musical guests. You can find out more information about them at thelessoncenter.com or Google them. They have, um, they have places throughout the Lehigh Valley where you can learn how to play as well. Well, maybe not as well as Tim, but you know, you can, better. You can aspire. <laughs> Even better. better? Way better. Great. So thank you so much to all of our guests. Thank you to Tim. Thank you to Tyler for showing up today. You're welcome, George. Thank you for having me. <laughs> yeah. And we'll catch you guys next week. <laughs>